Hi everyone, I'm Glenn Flair from Board Games of Bourbon. Right now we are going to talk about Black Sonata, which is a brand new game coming out. It's a solo game by Side Room Games that I gotta tell you is ingenious and one of the most unique solo experiences I have ever played. It says it's for one player, but I really feel like you could do this as a co-op or as an escape room type game. It says 12 and older. That's true because there's deduction involved and 30 minutes to play is accurate. Now, in this game, the premise is that the Dark Lady is in Shakespeare's London and she's roving around the countryside. You are trying to identify not only where she is, kind of like in a Scotland Yard or um, Fury of Dracula kind of method here, but then you're trying to deduce some qualities about her. And what you need to win the game is you need to be able, like let's say Elizabeth uh, Vernon was the dark lady, you would have to identify what her three characteristics are and have to be in the same spot she is to catch her all at the same time. And that is incredibly difficult. Okay, so to make the game work, what you're going to do is you have to realize there's a few different things you're dealing with. Um, you have dark lady cards. You pull one and you put it in the dark lady spot. This is the dark lady you're trying to discover. You discover who she is based on earning these clues. And like the card I pulled before, you're going to get these dark lady clues. And they tell you a little bit about what's there. Now you might notice the symbol here is a little purple symbol. And what that uh, purple symbol means is if we look at these cards, the, what this says is the, if the dark lady is purple, one of these qualities describes her, a crown, a rattle, or a heart, okay? Now, if I had this card, too, that I would call a clue, it says if the, again, if the dark lady is a purple, one of these symbols matches. And slowly what's going to happen is you're going to get a whole bunch of these clue cards and you're putting together a profile of who the dark lady is. You're also going to notice that she moves around the board in a very specific pattern. Okay, and you have a whole deck of cards here. You also have these cards called fog cards, which are kind of like event cards. Now, there's an interesting mechanic here in two ways. These cards over here, because they trace her movement, they're actually all in the deck in alphabetical order. Okay, now let's say uh, like we started here, for example. This card you'll see there's eight, um, there are eight letter positions here. Each one of these correspond to an alphabetical cycle, okay? And they're a little different from each other. There's also extra cards so that there's variety, but let's say there's E there. The next card I'd put in the deck will have to be an F. The next card after that will be a G, okay? And it's just alphabetical. That's the longest part of the gameplay, setting up this deck, okay? But it's not too bad. You set up this deck, uh, in order and then you cut it like this or something and then you put it down and now you're ready to play now what happens is as i'm taking a turn and i can do one of the two the three things actually i can either move i can explore the deck uh, what else can i do i can use a fog card or i can just pass right okay so let's say you know this card here is a, a boat. Well, if I look at my deck, there's only two places that there are boats, okay? And let's say I'm just going to London Bridge and I put my character there. Now, I have the option to explore the location of London Bridge to see if she's there. So what I do is I take this card, I find the card that says London Bridge, I put them together, and look at this. There's literally a keyhole that you can see through. And if I look through that keyhole, and if I saw the dark uh, lady, I almost called her the Dark Knight. If I look through the dark, uh, <laughs> look through the hole for the Dark Lady, and she was there, I would have earned a clue. Now, in this case, I didn't. Okay, so now that card kind of gets put out of the game. Um, and let me show you what it looks like if I can figure that out real fast. Um, which one of these cards would represent this? Maybe this one. Let's see. Is that it? You know, if it lined up, you would look through the card. They'd be perfectly lined up cards, and there, boom you would see the dark lady through the hole. Okay, so let's suppose that um, I did see the dark lady through the hole, which is a really fabulous experience, I gotta tell you. Okay, well what that does is it earns you one of these cards. Now, the interesting thing about that is the more successful you are and the more clues you're earning, you know, I have to put this card up there, it means I have to go through my deck of clues and locations and the stealth deck, what it's really called, faster. So if I have two clues are there, I got to go one, two, and I have to start putting 
cards behind the deck and move through. That's advancing her location. And you better, boy, you need to keep track of that because that dark lady is getting away from you. And you really need to figure out her movement. Every clue, it gets faster and faster. And the implication of that is you have this card here. Okay, you go through the deck once when it's slower, fine. Then you go through the deck two times. Uh oh, now it's getting a little bit more hairy. But then there's a third time and you finally lose the game. And let me tell you what, losing this game is very, very close. I beat this game one time because I could predict where she was. Another time, um, I, I've played this like, you know, 12 times already. Uh, another time, I knew where she was, but I couldn't get there, you know, which is such a bummer. I wasn't that good. Um, and what are the qualities about the game that I love? Well, first of all, the gameplay is fantastic. The mix of this movement that works ingeniously, putting together the deduction. I mean, I swear, if you can solve this game, you are going to catch the Zodiac Killer, man. Now, the keyholes in these cards, I love that way of playing. You know, you're trying to put those together. You're trying to see where she is. Holy smokes, there she is, you know, but the card has to be that way. So it's really, really cool. And the quality of the components, I got to tell you, this the feel of it, it feels like cracked papyrus like you would see in a really expensive wedding invitation or something. So much of this has been done well. Um, the world that you're living in, the unique way they feel, the unique way you're interacting with it. Boy, I got to tell you, Black Sonata is unlike any solo game I have. The way you interact with it, the things you're doing, the aspect of deduction that you can do solo by yourself. Wow. I highly recommend this game. So when this comes out, please look for it. Black Sonata, I think you're going to be doing yourself a favor, okay? Thanks so much, everyone. Talk to you soon.